Welcome to my channel. Today we look at application of the course products and we'll be looking at how we can use the knowledge of the course products to get area of a triangle in this video. In the, the, in the other videos, we'll be looking at how to use the course products to get um, the volume of other solids and even area of a uh, parallelogram. So let's begin by applying the rule of the course product to get area of a triangle. So the first question that we'll be answering in this video is, is this. Show that the area of a triangle of sites ABC is given by a half multiplied by the magnitude of A cross B. And let me just remind you something before we progress is that from the definition of the cost products we discovered that the magnitude of a cross b is given by the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b sine theta that's all we discovered at that time so this is very important to us even in this proof of course, we begin with what we know in, in getting area of a triangle. Now, if we're given a triangle like this that has uh, an equal size, this is a triangle that has an equal size. What we normally do for us to get this, the area of this triangle, we would uh, first of all find height. Of course, you can use the heroes formula, but that's what, not what I want to do today. I want us to come up with the height. And of course, you know that area of a triangle is given by a half times height times base. So this is our base. I want to take this to the base and this to be the height. So that is the area of a triangle. And of course, using trigonometry, I know that sine theta sine theta is given by opposite of, of a hypotenuse. Opposite of a hypotenuse. And so this is our hypotenuse. So we are using the magnitude of that. The distance from here up to here is our hypotenuse. And therefore it is height. That's why I've written there that a height is if I multiply it by magnitude of L on both sides, height will be given by the magnitude of L sine theta. So therefore, what is area of this triangle? I just substitute this to where height is. It will be a half times, so it's a half times the magnitude of L sine theta times the magnitude of B. So this is supposed to be magnitude. We're using the distance from A from this to that. So that's the distance of B. So rearranging this, I had, I got a half times the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B sine theta. But this part, this part is what we said that it is the magnitude of A cross B. This part here is the magnitude of A cross B. So what we then get is a half multiplied by the magnitude of A cross B, and that's what we, what we are required to show. So we've shown what we are required to show. Let's look at the other example. The question is, find the area of a triangle with these vertices. So the vertices are given. Of course, there are very methods of finding the area of this triangle, but I'm choosing the easy one, the one we have already learned about, the one we are using the cross products. So if I'm using the cross products, to me, I believe that becomes very easy for us to get the area of this triangle. Of course, I will know that we, this is the triangle. This is the triangle. 
So if this is the triangle that we're talking about, and I have this is as this as a, which is three five, and this vertex here is a b, and this vertex here is c. So I only need to get this distance and this distance. I only need to get those two distances, this and this. And what I know is that the, is that area will be given by a half wonder by L. Let me call a b vector a b cross vector a c. But only that. That's all we're doing. That's what we're doing. So area of the half times the magnitude of a b cross a c. Now, so what is a b? A b. This is a displacement. Displacement uh, vector. So a b just take the corner of b minus the corner of a. So the corner of b is this minus the corner of a. So this would be two i. This would be and I subtract seven minus three would be four j. I want to subtract nine minus five that would be four j. And that's what we get. What do you see here? The displacement vector S C. Just take the corner of C and minus the corner of A. So the corner of C is this, minus that of A. Negative 2 minus 2, that gives us negative 4i. 7 minus 3, that gives us 4j. And 12 minus 5, that gives us 7k. Now, what do you see here? So, we know that once you have this displacement vectors, what we need to get is now the cross products. We need to get the cross products. So A, B cos A, C. I used the simplest method that we've learned. So let me just move it down. So A B cross S C. This I J K. A B is two four four, two four four, and S C is negative four four seven, negative four four seven, and then I add these two columns here. Multiply along this blue diagonals as I add the result. Multiply along this red diagonals as I separate the result. When I do that, I get 12i minus 30j plus 24k. Now, so what about the magnitude of this cross product? The magnitude of this cross product is what I obtained here and is the square root of 12 square plus 30 square plus 24 square. So this is what I get, and it gives me 40.24922.3595. So what is the area? The area is given by a half times the magnitude of the cross product. The magnitude of the cross product is this, times a half. That gives me this, and this is the area of that triangle. So when you go through this working and it's very easy and you get to learn how to get area of a triangle using the cross products.